hot to. You, go. you gotta put like an emphasis on it, like to. You know, like really to. Hot to. Hot to. Hot to. Hot really? to. Hey, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> choke, choke. Anything? Anything? Yeah, there you go. Let's check it out. Hawk Tua has changed my life. For the past eight episodes, I've been holding on the ground, laughing my ass off. I've been filled, I've never felt this joy in my entire life. No matter how sad I am, my girlfriend left me, my dad disowns me, uh, my mom said she never loved me. My day will always get better when I watch the Talk to All episodes. She's Hawk to spit on that thing. I'm Hawk to shit, shit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> shit on that thing. <laughs> Her hat that says shit, shit on, on that, that thing. thing. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Shit on that, that thing. thing. That respect. <laughs> Every device that I own, even my Apple Watch, has a notification on for the next episode of the Talk Tour. And the second it drops, no matter what I'm doing, I'm dropping it and I'm watching the Talk Talk Tour podcast. And thankfully, they post it always on time. Honestly, respect. Respect. <laughs> and each episode gets funnier and funnier. Respect. Respect. <laughs> now, we already talked about how cringe the Talk To All podcast is, how she claims Haley, the Talk To All girl, claims that, oh, she wants to step away from the whole Talk To All situation. She, she doesn't want to be known as the Talk To All girl, but then <laughs> Shatha comes up with the Talk To All podcast. I wonder why that is, because currently it is sitting at, I don't know, top five of Spotify, it was a top three, top four just a few weeks ago. And no matter how many times she tries to rebrand herself, her manager is gonna talk her back to her seat and say, there is no getting away from this. This is how you make money. This is your brand, milk it. She promotes helping out dogs, but at the same time promotes gambling. Full Mr. B strategy to make himself look good, but at the same time milk the shit out of as much as money you can get, no matter how bad the situation is and what products you're promoting to your audience. You promote gambling, she comes back like, do you help out dogs? Do, uh, I, I, don't, I don't see you donating to the dog shelters. I help dogs, I can be canceled. Now, we're not here to talk about this whole thing. Now, there's a rumor going around the internet, people saying that the Hawk 12 girl is suing the interviewer, the guy who interviewed her in the viral clip that went all over the internet asking for the right of that video and for the ad revenue from that YouTube video since it got like, what, 8.2 million views so far to this day? Hawk Tua is now suing the guy that interviewed her and put her on. Underneath it was a post of, you know, the Hawk Tua girl suing the interviewer and then she replied to it saying fake news. Now I saw a couple other videos on my feed as well and that got me real curious. How did this whole rumor start? Who started it? And why is there barely any news articles about this whole thing? So I decided to put my detective coat on, have my shisha ready and go into full investigation mode. And I found very interesting things. Now the interviewer's name is D Marlo. Their channel is TND on YouTube. And I decided to go to their TikTok and go through some of his videos. And I realized he replies to a lot of people, people hating on him, people liking him, whatever it is. He replies to most of his audience and this was posted a week ago and this rumor started just three days ago. This person said, we do not, uh, we're not about to let homie fall down the rabbit hole. I did Haley Welch, but she needs to thank you, bruh. You're the reason folks even know her name. And then he replied to him saying, she trying to sue me. So it's FTB all the way. Now, back in my day, it was G2G, got to go, BRB, be right back. What the fuck is the FTB? Now, there's so many new wars in 2024 that I do not know of. The other day, I was sitting on my old man chair, this comfy, lazy chairs. I sneezed, but saliva wasn't the only thing that came out of me. There was also green air. And I just found out, and my friend said that, oh my god, you screenshot it. For a second, I was like, what the, what the fuck? And then it hit me. Once you cough or sneeze and you fart at the same time, it is called screenshot. What is FTB short for? File transfer port. I don't think this is it. What's FTB mean? Home department franchise tax board. Okay, that's not it. So I decided to go to a platform where the Gen Z lives. Reddit. And according to them, FTB stands for fuck them bitches. I have no idea if that's what it stands for, but we're just going to go with that because that's the only one that makes the most sense. Now, another screenshot that I found as well was this is two days ago. The rumor started three days ago. Keep that in mind. Yo, is she really suing you? And he replied to it saying it is not fake news. They dropping a backstory vet on YouTube with all the receipts. English left the chat. I thought my English was bad, but okay. So she's saying, no, I'm not suing him. It is fake news. And he's saying, yes, she is 
suing me and i went back to the interview the first interview at the talk to a show respect that they dropped and i found this one scene that they addressed the whole thing with the interviewer interview you and try to get something out what would you get tim be? and d to do it again no i'm sure they wouldn't have a problem they wouldn't yeah. I wonder what they're doing why aren't you allowed to talk? You're not allowed to talk about Maybe that? Maybe we are. Fuck yeah, it. Let's why not? Let I mean, rip. yeah, it's like, you know, they, well, they might argue that you're making money off of it and it benefits. Oh, me. but what about that video they first posted when all this shit started? I didn't get any money off of that. Yeah. So they can they suck my left lip. Yeah, you should definitely just get the money if nothing else. Yeah. Haley, that is not an insult, suck my left lip. I think the interviewer was trying to do that the whole interview and trying to get a hawk twelve. And at the same time, he owes you nothing. Go be thankful that you got a platform and millions of dollars in your bank account and apparently a large audience because she had a meet and greet just yesterday because she apparently got a kick deal yes she is on kick she announced it that she'll be having a meet and greet she already has that check going on we don't know how much she got paid for that but she had a meet and greet and a lot of people especially guys showed up to take a picture with her for one hope and one hope only to get a hawk twa guac guac vacuum cleaner 9000 This just shows me how lifeless some people are and how pathetic they are. You stand hours and hours in line just to take a picture with a girl who said the way that she likes to, you know, guac guac a cucumba. And you don't even know if she guac guacs or not. She just said it. Now back to the whole case. He doesn't owe you anything. It is his channel. Legally speaking, I am no lawyer, but the person holding the camera is the person who has is responsible for the video it is his video that's just the logics of it and she also went on in this interview and said oh immediately you know they released a merch hawk twa after this whole thing went viral trying to take advantage of the whole situation they, they like launched a merch store the next day Haley asked them to take the video down she was like very depressed about it and they just kind of like blocked her and, and you have it all and they blocked all. all my friends too and we all have it like screenshotted too like i messaged them i was like all right you posted the one you got views and everything else just stop you're like horrifying me just quit <laughs> and they didn't stop either so mm -hmm. they just kept going i was like all right this fucking point what else you're gonna post picture of my ass crack go mm -hmm. ahead go ahead mm -hmm. i, I feel so <laughs> bad about it too because i was like holy shit i made her answer that question yeah. and now she's like beating herself up i'm sure she's very much beating herself up she's absolutely so sad especially when she got paid thirty thousand dollars to judge a bikini contest or go to the mets have a mets opening baseball game it's honestly very sad to live the life of Haley welch and i decided to verify this thing if this is true or not did they actually launch a merch because i haven't seen any merch coming from them i've seen other people launching a merch but as it turned out these guys posted a limited hawk twa merch and just benefited a couple of bucks from this whole thing now i assume this has something to do with the lawsuit as well but i hate to break it to you Haley, but the hawk twa phrase wasn't made by you and you shouldn't be suing him because he's using your face and his content you should be thanking god you should be kissing his feet that that night he happened to be there and take advantage of drunk girls Wait, that sounds wrong. But you know what I mean. Now, ever since the Hawk Twa girl went viral, the other YouTubers who shot the whole thing, they didn't get as much as attention. In fact, they didn't get any attention at all. All they did was collect the ad revenue from that video, launch a limited merch of saying Hawk Twa 2024 or something, get a couple bucks from it. Now, going after this YouTuber because they profited like a little bit, a couple thousand dollars, and the ad revenue, which is around, I assume, $20,000 with 8 million views, from you know using your face using your content you were only in it for what a couple of minutes and you, now you want the right for it because you want to get paid because they took advantage of you let it go as if people are not mad enough that a girl came on the internet and said that i want to that you know i give gaga's that and she got popular and now she's making millions of dollars as if people were not mad enough at the whole situation now you want to be greedy about it if i was a hog door girl i'll shout them out for making this opportunity happen because if they weren't there that time and they wouldn't chosen you for the interview you wouldn't been to where you are right now now i'm not saying it's all them she has a bubbly personality a lot of people like her for that and you know she took advantage of the situation and she 
made herself even blow up more with all the controversies she got herself into. But if I would say what is the main reason, it is because of that. Shout them out. Even give him a donation. Say, take all the merch money, take all the ad revenue for yourself. You made more money than the whole YouTube interview video by just standing and judging bikini contests. From the kick deals, from all the shit that you're doing, it's not enough. But hey, remember, she's doing it all because she wants to take that ad revenue from this guy and the merch money from the YouTubers and give it to Doc Show because that's what she cares about. She wants to give it to the lost puppies because it is all about dogs and fur our furry friends. All these YouTubers are asking for is a little bit of credit, you know, for them to boom up their stuff as well. But all you had to do, Haley, the least, the most logical, the best thing for you was just not talk about it and just go on with your life and continue making your money and growing your brand but he decided to sue them not even one year in she already sold her soul to the whole industry and just cares about money and whatever the hell everyone else tells her to do i kind of liked her i was like she's fine i don't really give a shit about this whole situation she said hawk to i laughed i scrolled then i next i found out she's like super popular right now i was like okay well i guess that's how the internet works but the second I saw her face just looking at the camera and just promoting gambling with like a straight face, she just became extremely unlikable in my eyes and now she decides to sue these guys. It is allegedly because for all I know they could both be speaking out of their asses. But I don't think the YouTubers are lying in this situation. It doesn't make sense. She already mentioned that there's a merch without her permission and she's going to be suing them. I didn't know it was the YouTubers, but I, I guess maybe it's them and other people as well. She's suing other people. For all we know, she's suing other people as well, but nothing has been official yet. She All she said, well, it's fake news. I'm not suing anyone. Haley, just move on and make your money. Going after a YouTuber who gave you the opportunity to show yourself to the world on how you vacuum cucumbers. You shouldn't sue him. You should thank him. I just think this is a very low blow. And just a very bad image for her. But anyways, just wanted to talk about this and share this news with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as usual. Like the video subscription if you are new here. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.